We will need a wrench or socket and ratchet to remove the drain plug and possibly the oil filter. The size of the oil drain plug will depend on the vehicle. You can use an adjustable wrench, but that is usually harder to manage and may slip. You will need an oil filter wrench, sometimes referred to as a strap wrench, a tool designed to fit over the end of your oil filter, or a large set of channel locks to remove the oil filter. You will need a funnel to put the new oil into the vehicle once you have drained and plugged it. You will also need a jack, jack stands, or possibly ramps to get the vehicle high enough off the ground to change the oil. You want to wear some type of safety goggles or glasses during the entire process as the oil can damage your eyes. To actually change the oil, you will need oil purchased from your favorite retailer in the correct amount. Usually it's between 4 and 7 quarts of oil. You also need to check your owner's manual for correct grade of oil to purchase and possibly oil filter size. You will need to get an oil filter. When in doubt, use the OEM filter or a Wix filter. Those are the bare minimum in items to replace your oil. Once you have all the supplies, we can get to work. First, find a suitable work area. I would suggest a flat piece of ground. Make sure the vehicle's engine is not too hot as you can easily burn yourself. Put on your safety glasses or goggles. Pop the hood, but do not open it completely until the wheels are chalked. If you are using a jack and jack stand, you will now jack up the car to place the jack stands underneath the car. Leaving the vehicles on just the jack creates an unsafe condition, so please use either stands or ramps. Then open the hood. Once the vehicle is up high enough to crawl or slide under, you can loosen the oil cap and or remove the oil dipstick to make draining the oil easier. The next step is to crawl or slide under the vehicle with the oil catch pan, wrench or socket ratchet combination and locate the oil drain plug. The drain plug is usually easy to get to. Ensure your oil catch pan is under the oil drain plug. You want to have it off center as the oil would come out in an arc. Loosen the oil drain plug with the wrench or ratchet so you can unscrew the bolt by hand. Oil may dribble out now, but should not pour out. Ensure it is black in color. If not, stop. This may not be the oil drain plug. Once you get near the end of the threads, ensure you hold onto the oil drain plug as it can be launched into the dirty oil in the catch pan or even out of reach underneath the car. Remove the plug and let the oil begin to drain. While waiting for the oil to completely drain, Clean your hands and drain plug. You can check to ensure the rubber or copper seal is in good shape on the drain plug so you, when you replace the drain plug, it will not leak. Once drained, reinstall the drain plug that you checked earlier. It should be finger tight, then torqued down correctly. Now we'll move on to the oil filter. You will want to position the oil catch pan under the oil filter. I usually use a strap type wrench to remove the filter. Once the filter is loose, oil will start draining down the sides of the oil filter. I usually let it drain until it slows to a trickle. This will help it keep from dropping a full filter of oil on you, the ground or the oil catch pan, which will then splash oil on you. Once the oil filter is just trickling, unscrew it the rest of the way, ensuring you do not drop it. It will still have some oil in it. Place it upside down in your oil catch pan to completely drain it. Wipe off the area where the oil filter will be installed and ensure there is not an old gasket stuck there. Otherwise, you will have issues with the seal of your new oil filter. Take the new oil filter out of the box. Ensure it is the correct one by comparing it to the old one. Once you are sure it will work for your application, lightly coat the rubber gasket with some of the old oil. If your specific oil filter is large in size and hangs from the top, you can fill your oil filter halfway before installing it. This step needs to be done on some cars, but not all cars. Screw the new oil filter in place. You'll want to hand tighten it. That should be enough to seal it, but I usually ensure it is a little tighter than that with the strap wrench. Once you have completely changed the oil filter, go back and double check the oil drain plug for tightness and then double check your filter. 
Move all of your tools you have brought under the vehicle out from under it. Be careful not to spill the old oil. Clean any surface you may need to before crawling out from underneath the vehicle. Now you have drained the oil and replaced the oil filter, it is time to add the oil back to the car. There are several different types of oil fillers and where it is filled and it depends on the vehicle. But I have included a few examples in this video. Place the funnel in the oil filler location. Some new vehicles may not need the funnel, but I always use one. Add the amount of oil called for in your manual. I always stop after one quart and look under the vehicle to ensure that the oil is not leaking on the ground. If it is, stop and check the tightness of your plug and oil filter. Once you have ensured you have added the correct amount of oil, you will need to either bring your vehicle down from the ramps or jack the vehicle up slightly and remove the jack stands and then lower it back to the ground. Start your vehicle to pump the oil into all the passages and completely fill your oil filter. You will want to ensure your vehicle is on level ground, so you may need to move it to a different location. Once your vehicle is off, let it sit for a minute. This allows the oil to get back to the oil pan so you can check it. Check your oil level. There should be an indicator on your oil dipstick. Ensure you are at the correct level for oil. Congratulations, you have completed your oil change. Even if you did not save $50, you have learned a little bit more about your car and how it runs.